Assalamu alaikum. In this lightboard session, we'll see how to monitor the Kubernetes cluster. For that, we'll be using Prometheus in order to scrape metrics from different components running inside my cluster. Then we'll be using Grafana in order to visualize this data in a nice dashboards. I'm Hossein Delay, Microsoft Premier Field Engineer. Follow me in this lightboard session to show you what are the different configurations available with Prometheus. So in a typical Kubernetes cluster, we do have multiple nodes running in this cluster. So we might have, for example, node number one, which I'm going to draw here. So this is our node number two, and we might have a node number two. And those nodes might connect to a uh, certain uh, disk space, for example. Inside those nodes, we have our pods running. So in the, po in the node one, I might have a pod number one, for example. And I might have a second pod running right here. Those pods might run my, uh, my application inside the, uh, the node. And the node two, maybe I have some pod number three and pod number four and so on. It's important for me to to monitor my cluster to understand what is the memory consumption, the CPU usage and the network usage for my uh, for my cluster to be able to understand, for example, if I need to scale out my cluster by adding uh, some other nodes or scale out my uh, my pods, for example, and to be able to, to monitor how my application is behaving to make sure I don't have a failure related to the CPU memory and uh, network in my in my app. So for that, we need to use some monitoring tools. There is lots of tools available on the market today. One of them is Prometheus, which is supported by the CNCF Foundation. And here I'll be focusing on using Prometheus with Grafana later. So to start with, if we want to install or if we want to use Prometheus to monitor our application, we have different options for installing Prometheus. So you can install it either as a binary file in your, uh, in your system or you can also install it as a container in, uh, in a pod if you are using uh, Kubernetes. So the option for Kubernetes is to install it as a container. So here we have a pod that will run uh, Prometheus. There is a uh, lots of Prometheus components. The main one is the Prometheus server. Prometheus server is a pod or it's, uh, it will run inside the container inside the pod and from Prometheus server, we will try to scrape different metrics available on my cluster. So he will try to scrape metrics from uh, my uh, different pods and the nodes. For that, it is up to Prometheus to scrape this data coming from all the pods and my cluster. So it will scrape data from the different pods and this is a uh, scraping matrix. Because here, my Kubernetes cluster will expose already this, uh, those different uh, metrics. The pods and the nodes have different ways to export those metrics. Then it's up to Prometheus to go ask for this uh, matrix. And here, the first uh, difference between Prometheus and the other systems is that it's Prometheus who go to ask for this data. It's not the pods who sends this data to the Prometheus server. So. With this way, we can get the different metrics or the standard metrics exposed by the different uh, pods. But now, what if I want to export data that is available inside the nodes itself to get information about the uh, uh, consumption, the resource consumption for each node? In this case, we need to use a different uh, system. So here, we need to use the node exporter, which is another Prometheus uh, component. So the node exporter will be installed, it's uh, like a pod that is installed inside the node and he will request or he will ask, he will query the node to get uh, the resource um, uh, uh, utilization, then send that data back to Prometheus uh, server. 
the same here so each node will have a container called node or a pod called node exporter and style it inside of it here also we'll have the node exporter and the same will be here so scraping data now Prometheus server will communicate directly with the node exporter to get those different uh, metrics so those different components will expose the metrics on a standardized URL something like the your name your server name slash metrics for example and then uh, uh, it will expose data that is readable for by uh, Prometheus uh, server but some other components they don't expose uh, public URLs like the jobs for example because they run ro locally and they are isolated from uh, from my network so here if I add that uh, job for example then we want also to get metrics from that job and we cannot do that directly Prometheus cannot query that or uh, cannot send uh, a request to that job but instead we can do that through an intermediate component which is the push gateway so here we have another kubernetes uh, or another prometheus component the push gateway the push gateway here will get the data or will get the metrics from the jobs and then prometheus server will uh, will use it in order to get back that uh, metrics right here also So now Prometheus server could get different or uh, could get a matrix from different components in my system. And at this point can go to save that uh, we call it data, um, a time series uh, data in its own database. So Prometheus server have in its configuration, you can configure it to persist those time series data inside uh, a database so that we don't lose this uh, uh, data now that we have the data at the Prometheus server right here we can um, now we want to read that data so we can go to read that data as raw data and that's not the best way to do that so instead what we can do is that we can create dashboards and here we have multiple options available so first of all is that Prometheus itself it have a pr what we call the Prometheus dashboard and it's another uh, component of Prometheus so let's draw that in orange what is orange here is are the Prometheus uh, component Prometheus uh, dashboard so using this dashboard we can read the data coming from the server so we can query data we can ask for the cpu utilization for the node one for example and we can see the evolution of using that uh, 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 of using the cpu in a time frame of uh, 20 uh, minutes for example and but there is some other available options to do dashboards because prometheus dash dashboards are a little bit limited they are not that much nice and we cannot do a lot of it and luckily for us we have something that is more uh, evolved which is the grafana dashboards grafana can create really advanced uh, dashboards where we can see different uh, uh, different views or different uh, graphs inside the same dashboard and we can give those dash dashboards to the different team members uh, uh, in our uh, development team for example so that's another option for data uh, visualization so let's say here this is for data uh, visualization and of course uh, Prometheus is extendable so we can use other systems in order to uh, do data uh, visualizations so it supports lots of other uh, uh, systems now because we are monitoring the different metrics from our system sometimes we want for example if my node one gets 100 percent of cpu utilization then that's really uh, uh, an interesting metric to get and 
we might not see this uh, um, we might not see this data immediately because we might not be um, si uh, sitting uh, 24 7 beyond the uh, uh, Prometheus dashboard to monitor the system so in this case we want to create alerts please send me an email notification or SMS notification whenever the uh, CPU utilization go beyond 90 or 80 percent for example so this is why Prometheus have another feature, which is the alert manager, which is another Prometheus uh, component. So, th so through the alert manager, Prometheus server will be able to send alerts right here. So it can, yeah, it, because it is already monitoring sy the system, can detect some uh, 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 non-normal um, or abnormal uh, uh, resource utilization, for example, then it will send uh, the alerts either through email, for example, or through SMS, and whatever other you want. So with this, Prometheus is really uh, a configurable in order to get different metrics from different components in my system, and also it provides solutions to visualize this data using Grafana dashboards, for example, and then sending alerts using those uh, using email or SMS notifications, for example. But now how we can configure this or those uh, uh, Prometheus uh, configuration. And here where uh, Prometheus defines a configuration file called Prometheus.yaml. Prometheus.yaml is a YAML file and available inside the Prometheus uh, container and the content uh, that file will describe this different uh, configuration. So let's take a look here at the content, uh, sample content for this file, Prometheus.yaml. So this file will contain a section for the uh, alerts, for example where here you can describe the uh, different alerts you want to use, what, uh, what are, uh, when I should send the alerts and to whom I should send that one. And another section, which is the rules. The rules here defines, for example, the, the uh, source or the targets from which I want to get those different metrics. So here it could be some uh, IP addresses, for example, if you have that available publicly, or you can use or you can reference your targets through the service name to say here, for example, if you have uh, a service available on your app that is called my app, then you can you can uh, reference that service. Uh, let's say here I have in my pod number three, I have my custom application installed there, I would define a service on top of the pod, then Prometheus will go request the metrics on that service. So the targets describes from where to get the different uh, uh, metrics. In addition to those different uh, uh, features available with Prometheus, we can also actually define some custom metrics. So uh, all we have mentioned here are uh, like standard metrics available from the pods, the nodes and the uh, jobs, but we can also create our own customized metrics. If I have here my, my pod running my app, for example, from inside that application, I can use uh, the um, uh, uh, NuGet packages in case of the .NET application or uh, Maven packages in Java or PIP packages for Python in order to create custom metrics at the level of my application's source code to be able to track some metrics that I want to uh, read them later from the uh, Grafana dashboard for example. So Prometheus because it's extendable it can read metrics from, uh, uh, it can read customized metrics coming from my uh, app. So here, this, this is the case for custom metrics. 
So I hope this gives you a clear understanding of how Prometheus uh, works in the Kubernetes cluster. Thank you.